Hey yo, what's good? What's poppin'? What's happening with you all? It's your boy Gold Phoenix in the flesh, rise from the ashes and be blessed. You know, I already know what it is. Listen up. Sustain eye gel. My eyes are killing me right now. And this stuff right here, this stuff right here, man, is the truth. Right now, I'm down here in Fort Worth, Texas. Mm. This stuff is thick. Fort Worth, Texas, sitting at a Walmart, DC, doing this delivery. It's like four in the morning right now. This load took way too freaking long and it had to be rescheduled for obvious reasons, you know, getting held up in Wyoming, not being able to go anywhere, um, getting snowed in, roads iced out, high winds, that kind of thing. I waited for the winds to die down but then there was still black ice out there. So, um, of course, I did the majority of the driving as far as I went, drove us down, you know, into Colorado, down there, taking into New Mexico, into um, Raton, which I could have gone further, but he, he being my co-driver, was up most of the day. And so I'm like, well, you already up. I don't want you to be even more tired. When it's time for you to drive in worst case scenario, I just split my clock, right? That's not what I wanted to talk about today. There's two things I wanted to address. First one being this comment from, um, I believe your name is Israel Robo, Robs. Forgive me for mispronouncing that. Anyway, Israel says, always look forward to your updates. I appreciate that, my guy. Quick question. What is your gaming setup? Um, as far as console, like laptop, my internet, that kind of thing. He wanted to know what type of service. And, you know, I'm paraphrasing. It's not exactly what he said, but I'll go ahead and break this down because it has evolved a little bit over time. So since I don't feel like using my actual vlogging camera right now, I'll just tell you what it is. I'll show you guys in a later video. But I have a 32 inch, you find this at Best Buy, it's a 32 inch. It's a Samsung, I want to say it's like Q60 or something like that. Um, it's a 4K HDR TV. It's like the um, smallest 32, like the smallest 4K TV I could find that would fit in the truck. That also had HDR and all that good stuff, right? It's about, I want to say about $500, maybe $450, something like that. I got it in Best Buy. It was a Best Buy close to Manuka, Illinois that I got it at. This was around the time when I had my last student and we parted ways and he flew out of Chicago, right? Um, I have that. And then I recently switched carriers. I have Verizon for the past few years. I got away from Verizon because one, they kept messing with my bill. It was like one minute I'm paying 220 a month the next minute i'm paying over 300 and it makes no sense because all of my devices are paid off literally this phone is on t-mobile right i use this one mainly for work i'm waiting for a phone call right now to get my paperwork and get up out of here probably go back to weatherford to park but um my main phone which is my iphone right now i switched that to at&t recently AT&T has been phenomenal. Their data speeds have been much faster, much more consistent, much more reliable coverage. They don't have like the 5G ultra wide, like the uh, millimeter wave that Verizon have, but that's very few and far between. Realistically being OTR, I need something that is more stable, consistent, you know, just overall good, right? But one of the things I learned switching to AT&T I have a business account with them. I just the only way you could do this. This is what I use for internet. This is a Netgear. I'm gonna say it's the Nighthawk M6 Pro, right? Close to five hundred dollars, like four eighty ish. Somehow I don't know. I just I, I just be swiping my card and things happen. But this is like a mobile modem. It's not like a normal hotspot that you would typically see. So check it, you got ethernet right here. What I do with this thing is I just plug the ethernet straight into my Xbox and I connect everything else with Wi-Fi, like my laptop, sometimes my phones, my GPS is connected to this 24 seven. Um, my smart TV, which is 
freaking awesome because what I was doing before when I had Verizon was I had like this HDMI to type C cable that I would plug into my iPad and I would use that to watch TV. So being able to just connect my TV to this thing is far more convenient. Now I did have like a mobile modem type of deal with Verizon, but the problem is all the money I was paying, I was only getting a hundred gigs with that thing, which hence I ended up upping the plan that I have on this. So Magenta Max went into the settings, pay an extra, I wanna say $35 a month or whatever to get 100 gigs a month for my hotspot on this. Actual service is completely unlimited. My phone, I get a 100 gig hotspot. I said my phone later, my main phone, I'll put it that way. 100 gig hotspot, unlimited service, top priority type, you know what I'm saying? Business account stuff. This is where it gets interesting. This thing, is completely unlimited. It's the only completely unlimited hotspot plan I've ever seen. Now, I could have went with the T-Mobile thing. You guys see the T-Mobile home internet thing. Verizon has it too. Um, and I've heard stories of that kind of thing working out for some people. This is just what I got to first. And I love it so far. I was in Pittston. What's it called? Pittston, Pennsylvania. There's a pilot over there, Walmart's across the street. I do a lot of shopping at that Walmart over there. But there's like a little plaza with a couple restaurants and you know, that kind of deal. AT&T is over there. So I went and talked to them out of curiosity. I was just chilling there. I was waiting for my father because he was coming back up that way. Both of us were picking up students. Um, and we had lunch, it was, it was cool. So he calls me when I'm at AT&T. I had just bought this thing. <laughs> I got the last one. Um, the people over there in Pittston were real cool with him though because he wanted to get the same thing just so he could you know, test out AT&T's network and decide later on if he wants to switch from Verizon. So what they did for him was they found one at another store, he bought it, and he had to make a delivery down there in Allentown. So he went to Allentown, came back up, and they had um, went to the store to grab this for him. So. Shout out to you guys at 18. Y'all know who y'all are. They're the goats. But you have to have a business account to have this plan in the first place. You can't do it on a regular, I guess you could say pedestrian, you know, civilian account or nothing like that. You either got to go through like as a sole proprietorship for whatever reason. I don't know why you would do that. Or you have to have an LLC, your EIN number, or that kind of deal. That's what I did. Hello? All right, I appreciate it. I'll be in in a minute. Thank you. Bye. Paperwork is ready, so I got to wrap this up shortly. But, um, you have to have a business account to be able to do this. As far as the T-Mobile home internet or the Verizon situation, I don't know. My understanding was it's geo-locked. So as soon as you leave like the zip code or your address or whatever, it shuts off. Some people are saying that it works perfectly fine no matter where they go. There was a channel on YouTube I came across. I can't remember off the top of my head what their channel was, but these people are like, you know, real RV life type of cats. You know what I'm saying? So in their RV that they live in basically 24 seven, they use the T-Mobile situation, the 5G home internet thing. And it works perfectly fine for them from what they told me. I don't know how true that is. All I know is using this in conjunction with my Wii Boost has been excellent. Playing games online, practically flawless. Now, only caveat to that, it works better when you're stationary. That's the one thing about it I can say. If I'm playing like, you know, I've been playing that new Modern Warfare 2 recently. If the truck is moving, it's a little sketchy sometimes. It just depends on the area that you're in. But if you find like a solid truck stop or rest area, or whatever with good coverage it does do 5g it does do ultra wide band and all that if you have that type of situation going on it, it'll work out much much better i've been rambling about this so long <laughs> i'm not even gonna get to the second topic i wanted to talk about y'all just had to wait for the next video on that one but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get my paperwork so i can get the hell up out of here and get paid you know what i'm saying as i always tell you guys be happy stay blessed do not be afraid to make
drastic changes in your life might end up being the best decision you ever made. I am the one and only Gold Phoenix.